In this video, I'm going to show you how to link up nether portals so that you can visit different parts of the overworld that otherwise would be thousands of blocks away. And the best part is, it's quick and it's easy. Let's get into it. I'm currently in my testing world and you'll see that I've placed three nether portals at various different spots. Now this is going to help me travel very quickly, but the problem that you'd get now is that if I go into this portal, say, I can go back through, not a problem there. However, if I was now to go through this portal at the bamboo farm, uh, oh no, we, it seems that we're back at the exact same portal and then going back through, yep, I, I end up back over here. Thankfully, this is very easily fixed. The first step is that we just need to work out the coordinates of each portal. Now, the way you find the coordinates is different in Java as it is to Bedrock. In Bedrock, all you do is when you create the world, you click show coordinates and that enables that feature in the top corner of the screen. In Java, you just tap the F3 key. Now, if I go to the portal here, I can see that the coordinates are 77, 57, 60. Great. I'm also going to take a note of all the others while I'm at it. And do make sure that you watch this to the end, because the reason I've done a high up portal is to demonstrate something that is very important to remember. Right, now that's all done. Let's go into the nether and we'll do the other half. Now, basically, at this point, I can guarantee you that the coordinates of this portal are not what we want them to be. Generally, when the game's working out where to put a nether portal, it just lumps it in the first space that is relatively near to where the coordinates should be, but just in an open space. So it's not always exact. A one block space in the nether is equal to eight in the overworld. So with that in mind, the coordinates that we took for the overworld portals, we need to divide those coordinates by eight, but not the height. With height, this does not apply. So we're literally just gonna divide up the X and the Z coordinates, not the Y coordinates. Now, if my maths is correct, we're now at the correct spot. 12, 56, 20. The reason I've done 56 is because then the base of the portal will be 57, which is what I wanted. And then we just have to build ourselves a portal. If you've had to dig down to a different Y level, make sure you give yourself a bit of breathing space for when you get out of the portal. Now, all being well, this should take us to the bamboo farm. Let's see. Yes, and there we go. That is one portal linked up. I never have to worry about this portal again because its coordinates are spot on. Now let's do the others. And here we are again, the coordinates for this one in the nether should be 10, 57, 8. So there we go, let's put the floor in. And this should now take us to the portal that we went to at the start of the video by the vending machines. And here we are, perfect. And so here, if we come back through to the nether and we go this way, I've had to build myself a bit of a staircase, but this takes us up to Y100. Now this is a much shorter distance to travel than in the overworld, but obviously there is still a bit of a climb. But if you do put the time and effort into making these nether hubs with stairways and tunnels, you're going to have a very effective way to get around the overworld at high speed. Heading now into this portal, and we should come out at, yes, at Y100 at the right portal. If you were to build a portal at Y57, because this is so far away from the other two, you may get away with it. But the problem is if you start then adding portals on the ground, to other landmarks instantly if your nether portals at y57 not 100 this is just going to stop working so you do need to make sure that you observe the heights of the portals but you don't have to divide that number by eight that's only for the x and the z coordinates if you enjoyed this video and watched it all the way to the end i expect to see a comment in the comment section with the word magnificent i'm waiting with eager anticipation to see what you're going to write that's all from me guys thank you and i'll see you in the next video cheers <laughs>